hertz. Okay, hi everyone. Um, okay, again, the basics, I mean, the classics. Um, this is the teleporting for aces. I don't know what its real name is, but <clears throat> I don't know what, is it, what its real name is. But I like to call it the teleporting for aces. Anyway, I'll just stack the four aces up just like that and square it up on a deck. So as you can see, it's ace of diamonds, ace of um, clubs, ace of hearts, and why don't you turn over spades by yourself? Ace of spades. So now I've got these four cards. It's spades, hearts, clubs, diamonds, right? So these four aces right here, they're just spades, hearts, club, diamonds, and now um, the aces are going to teleport. All I have to do is um, spades, hearts, club, diamonds, so this diamonds, put diamonds on the bottom of the deck. Please snap your fingers. The specter go like, yeah, and the card jumps on top. Oh, the card jumps on top. It teleports all by itself. Okay, so now I'm going to put the ace of club right on top of the deck. Um, spectators, please slap your hand on the deck. Teleports to the bottom. So here, spectator, please put the ace of um, hearts face down in the deck. Um, that's hearts, right? Um, it's clubs, di um, it's cl diamonds, clubs, hearts, spades. So this must be the ace of hearts, yeah. Please put the ace of hearts in the middle just like that okay thank you now um please snap your fingers the card just simply drops down ace of hearts now it's the, the last ace the ace of spades please put the ace of spades anywhere you like in the middle let's say you put it here okay let's say you put it there okay so please snap your fingers snap spectator snap their fingers and where is it the ace of spades flip over all by itself. Well, I think it's pretty a nice little trick and it's for beginners because it almost needs no hand of slides and you can actually baffle your friends by this trick um, even though it's not very technical. And it's really nice for beginners to learn. This This is like one of the first tricks that a beginner should learn and the other one is of course put this over and Pick a card. Okay, so don't look at the card. Okay, put it right in. Bam, bam. Flip it over secretly. Your card is the only card that flips over. This is the the other um, very first trick that many people learn. Anyway, this should be one of the very first tricks you learn too. Here I'm going to do the tutorial right now. So, you display the four aces and you secretly um, push this and pull off and you get the break under the top card or you can just simply riffle through it and when you get the top card you have a break. Anyway, again, um, like I really like to say, preference. Yeah, it's all about preference. Anyway, that is the hardest hand of flight in this trick. Now you know how easy it is and still it's kind of cool. So, um, I would like the Ace of Spades at the, at the first, because then it will be the last card to reveal, and, you know, it's cooler. Anyway, break, and now you just stack the, the Aces up, and square them, no, don't square them up, and take, this is about preference again, don't square them up, just take it, and it can cover the break, and square them up, and after you, still covering the break, right? After you screw them up, you can just simply take them up. So spectator, even though they're magicians, um, um, however, magicians, of course, they already know how, what you're going to do. Anyway, so they won't see the break because you're you're always covering it. Here, do it again. You tilt it, and the spectator won't see it. You have the phrases. You put it right there, covering it and you square them up, this hand is covering it, and you take it up very soon, very fast, so they won't, they'll never see the break anyway. So now, you peel off, and oh, and by the way, you stole an indifferent card, right? So now it's like that. 
Anyway, so you peel, turn over, say, um, have them to remember the sequence of the aces, so it's diamonds, clubs, hearts, and as soon as you got space, have them to turn it over. So now, situation check is like that. You got spades and different hearts, clubs, diamonds. So now all you have to do is, I know there's plenty, plenty of ways to do this. You can simply slide off the top card and have this card to be the first card because you want the indifferent card to be the first card and I'll explain it to you why. So now um, there's a couple of ways you can slide off and take this and deal them out but it's not very good. And there's another way you can take four of them out and you can simply play with them and drop them down and 